Okay, welcome back to Mullet Bros. On today's episode, we're going to be doing a uh, catch, clean, and cook of pretty much whatever we can catch out of this pond. We've got three, we got three beefcakes out here, so I feel like I feel like we could catch some fish or enough to eat. We got some ice on the cooler, so we can you know put them on ice. Then we got some mealworms, some night crawlers. We're ready to catch anything: bluegill, bass, catfish. Bass is last resort because. It just doesn't feel right to eat a bass, so, yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to start off with this little Jimmy John. This little spinnerbait looking thing. You, I'd set out a live bait one. And then set out a live bait and then do some, like, yeah, I get what you're saying. If my line wasn't tangled. I don't know why this little rod always does this. Okay. I'm going to set up a little live bait down here in this little cove. You want, you want, okay. you hey, want to come with me, Logan? Uh, if we catch any bass under 10 inches? I don't have, actually, I do have a measuring tape. Can we say 9 or 10? I'd say 9. What do you mean? 9. Okay. Hudson, hook me up with a, not with, hit, hit me up with a mealworm. It's one of the ones already open. Come here. Come here, buddy. There you go, Logan. You want, you, you want to come and sit with me? I'm going to come and sit on I'm going to put a little, put flip this down here in this little cove. If I can. You know, you can oh, Hudson, it, Hudson, this looks fire. Hudson. This looks fire. Go over there and sit. Oh. Well, that just went great. The split shots? Yeah. Yeah, I have some. If I need some, I don't have a weight or anything to pack So what dropping was he in? Uh, they're in a tackle box, the top pocket. Okay, we've got live bait set out. There we go, I got it. Yeah, are they in there? Yeah, And we're gonna do a little spinner bait action. Uh, that's all I have. I can watch my bobber and fish. This little ultralight rod does not have precise casting. Oh, hit my leg. What the frick? No. Nah, this line's all up on the end of my rod. Worst case, worst comes to worst. We're just gonna get some of the more swanny looking thingies over there. You know what I'm saying? The water's getting wet. Oh, 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 I had one. I gotta turn my drag butt down. It's already down. Yeah, must not be a fish. I must be delusional. Can't we just leave the dops open on these Johns? These worms are expensive, man. Oh, son of a gun. I almost said a naughty word. Multiple Tim's always here, man. I mean, it's too big for my hook. Too big for my hook. It's too big for my hook. I mean, also, how chunk these things are. Yeah, cut her in half. Boom! All right. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Harper, how's it going? This may be a failed video. I don't know. <laughs> I need you to pull this hand back. You better edit that shit out. I swear. Ah! Hey, Harper. I feel like there's a way easier way to do this. What? I don't know. I'll walk around the bank since I have muck boots on and I just pull the branch down. That's only a great idea. I have some of them sometimes. I could offer you all for me. I'm only trying really hard to not bust my ass. Oh, 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 you got hooked me. Okay. 
just go over that. Yeah, I know, but it keeps falling in time. Off. Throw her over. Oh, well. That's she good. Let, her, let go. her go. Let her rip. Today is not today in it. Oh, yeah. Your tank's all up in here, too. You know what you do with this? Rip her out. No. Pull I'll... her out. Well, that sounded amazing. Oh, guys, look at this. I'm the bird's nest baddie. B ass fillets. B ass fillets. <laughs> this makes it sound like we're cooking some big fish. All right, I'm going to toss some down. Oh! Oh, my life flashed before my eyes right there. That'd been bad. That would have been bad. Are you sure we're gonna do this? Yes, we're doing it, Logan. That just looks wrong. That's what? It just looks wrong. Well, it's kind of it's stunted like terribly. Like just look at that fish. That's how they all are. Okay, guys, this is for conservational purposes only. If you... Alright, let's turn it up. Shall we show this on YouTube? This is for conservational purposes only. Do hey, not... Do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. Conservational only. Please okay. point the camera at me when I'm talking. Conservational. I mean, this fish is like every fish in this pond. Stunted. Very stunted. So we're gonna try to help the pond out and our stomachs by eating this bass. But now we will use it as catfish bait. It'll really bring the fish in. We're only gonna catch one more bass. I'll say so. I mean, if that doesn't catch a catfish, nothing will. I'm assuming <laughs> Oh my god. Fire pond's not producing today. Okay, I'm done. Mm. Mm. That one went great, guys. Nothing better than Cut yourself the hook. Herbert's got my rod. Disgusting. What up, slang? Today we're gonna be catching some bass to eat because we can't catch bluegill or catfish. We're at the fire pond, so it needs to be taken out anyways. For what kind of purposes? Fish management, baby. Okay, guys, we got three fish. Three little bass for pond management. Yep. However, I think we might catch another one. So. Uh, Catch you guys back in All the right, kitchen. so Logan's getting the little fishies to lay right here. We got. I've never played a fish by pulling it apart before. Do whatever works, okay? Anyways, we got four. We got our salt water here, and then we're gonna go fire up with some Bucks and Danos seasoning. So we'll see how that's gonna turn out. I guess. Okay, so we're back. We're here in the kitchen. We got Chef Harper and Filet Man Logan. We've got, so what we're gonna do basically is we're gonna have, we're doing buffalo seasoning? No, we're gonna these. Oh, okay. So we're gonna do one of the flowers with Dano seasoning and one of them with the ducks, smoky barbecue. Smoky barbecue, you know, is not ideal for fish, but it's what we got when we're working with. We have some white lily flour and some Crisco pork, pure canola. And yeah, we're gonna get our oil heating up and then uh, we'll catch Chef Here, Harper. Show the oh, 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 we got some, some good fillets. Hopefully they'll fry up real good. So uh, we'll catch you back when uh, we're cooking. All right, so we got our both of our flowers. So now we're gonna add our seasoning to the flour. So we'll just go for the handful here. And just give her a, don't be shy. I mean, the more the merrier they say here it's what we say here okay then you gotta give her a little that's the danos yep i feel like we'll be able to tell yum yum get you some should we get it do a blind taste test yes 100 
So I don't I think don't. you put enough. I don't know. I feel like we need a when spoon you, to like. When you see I feel like it, it's all sinking to the bottom. I was rudely interrupted by a no color ID. Anyways, call. when you get your flour dirty like that, that's when you know it's good. So now we're gonna get our little ducks. Spicy barbecue or smoky barbecue. We're definitely gonna know the difference. All right, throw you about that much in there and give it a little. You think we need more flour? Nah, not as much of a. Uh, worst case scenario, we add more. Oh, it's only calling me. No color ID? Hello? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> what this? Ma'am, you're cutting out. Are the shirts? About fifty bucks. Okay. Good news. Okay. I will. I will pay you. I want the money. If you rub. Okay, you divide. Can we have your name? Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. All right. So we've got both of our flowers. Dano's in the smoky barbecue. Now we're gonna add our egg wash here. How many eggs you thinking? Three? I wish we got a smaller bowl. Actually, this should be good. Just give her a good whisk in there. Getting salmonella all over your counter there, home dog. Alright, so we're going to wash our hands real quick. FDA approved. Yes. Okay, then we're going to get the little... Should we get an acting with this or a fork? Fork. Alright, so we got a little fancy fork here. Just gonna give her a little. Little one of these. I had to do four eggs, actually. We need a tall, skinny bell. Mm hmm. Alright. How does it feel being the best chef in the state of Kentucky? Feels great. Okay. All right. You got your now we need to get our oil cooking. Yeah. So we'll get our oil. How deep should we get it going? Do we need this big old one? What? Do we need this big old one? Yeah. For the transfer rally. All right, this is how you turn your little thing on. Large or small, definitely large. What you get? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! You don't start off oil like that. You're probably gonna put it on a five. Okay, I didn't know you were the chef, so uh, <laughs> this is my show, buddy. Howdy, welcome back to um, the Mullet Bros Kitchen. We got our little grease thing going that you can see the steam coming. I'm trying to get a paper plate ready for the fish. I'm not. You're not the chef, but you know. Good brains, thinking. Good thinking. Brains of the operation. Yeah. Probably gonna need two, one for the buffalo or b barbecue and one for the day. Okay, she's, she's, she's cooking. Okay. Yeah, we need to go. All right, so we gotta get our little fishy thingies here. So, what do you... One big filet of each. Yeah. All right, so we'll get this bad boy into the egg wash. She's, she's real pretty egg washy. Mm -hmm. Okay, smoky barbecue. Wait around, get her up, up and down. Upside. You're gonna need that too to flip them. Mm -hmm. You think that's good? Yeah, it looks good to me. Is it all breaded up? Do a few flips. Yeah. I'd say throw her in. It's gonna pop, by the way. Oh. Show them what we got going on here. So here's the final product. We're gonna do the big one on like a fish sandwich. And we'll do the small one on like for our taste test. So we'll catch you back when they're done. Son. So we get show them what we got done. With so here's the barbecue ones. Pretty good little haul. Now we're doing the Danos. And pretty much we're gonna fry this up and then uh, we'll catch you back for the taste test.
little smoke in here. So I try to turn that fan thingy on. Open the window, see your friend. Brian fish gone wrong. Brian fish gone wrong. Got a little smoky in the house, but we're cooking them up real nice, baby. Cooking them up real, cooking them up real nice. Okay, so we're here for the the taste test. What what's this? Uh, this is smoky barbecue. This is the smoky barbecue. Well, that's good. That's really good. Let me try it out. I like the dino to be the best. Give the smallest possible piece. Uh, somebody's here. Mm -hmm. That ain't it. You don't like it? I do, but the barbecue's better. I don't know. I kind of like the Danos better. Well, it, it has more flavor. It does, but I just want to. Who's that? I don't know. All right, uh, we'll catch y'all back when we make our little fish hot dog sandwiches. We gotta let the oven cool down first. Yeah. Okay. Fry the shit out of it. Didn't I say that? Slow and steady, man. All right, here. All right. You gotta be in the video. No, come here. You're gonna try this. No, I gotta dip in. No. Stay I don't out. trust your burnt fish. I swear. It's, it's so amazing. good. It's really good. Where are you at? My high school baseball coach won't test out my beautiful fish. This is terrible. Okay, so we're here with the taste test. We got our fish sandwiches. Of course, with ketchup. I mean, it's pretty good. You want you want milk? You know. I don't like milk. It's pretty good. I don't like milk. Milk is the best thing ever. It's the best. Thing. So what do you have rated out of 10? 7. 8. Can I rate it? No. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Got a little rowdy there at the end. Fire alarm started going on. It was chaos. But how, how good was the fish? 8 out of 10. It was pretty good. Bass is very tender. Bass is very good, surprisingly. Yes. But we're going to have to compare that against other stuff. But it was a management ordeal. So. Yeah. And feed our... Stomach. I need to bulk up a little bit. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, uh, thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, and uh, see y'all next one. Peace.